I was born and grew up until the age of about 15, 16 in a uh, uh, European uh, communist country, which was sort of at the point of uh, moving towards the, the end of that era anyway, but there was still quite a bit of that in my uh, upbringing, uh, not in the family, which was quite strongly anti-communist, but uh, at school and everywhere in the media, there was this uh, constant presence of uh, propaganda and uh, covering up the truth and just uh, uh, painting a, uh, a kind of a, a pink picture of reality, how wonderful things are under the leadership of our, uh, of our great secretaries. And uh, to me, you know, that was always really, really pathetic and uh, I couldn't believe any of it and was kind of surprised when I found that some of my schoolmates actually did believe it under the influence of their parents who were working in the government somewhere or soldiers. And uh, it was really strange that how, how, how many people, what a large percentage of the population can be willingly fooled uh, fool themselves into believing such things because uh, it was a kind of culture that offered people enough comfort it's kind of uh, the bread and and entertainment games and entertainment uh, just to keep them happy at the level of comfort and uh, that's what a lot of people just want that's that's all they want just just give me enough sense pleasure and a, and a feeling of assurance and I'll, I'll just follow you I'll, I'll do anything you want uh, so I didn't really fit into the whole school system. I, I never really felt as being part of these groups, uh, my, my class, and uh, I, I've always felt like I was an outsider. I didn't belong to any, any of these official structures at all. And uh, sometimes other people were suggesting that you know, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a misfit, I don't fit into this society, I should do something about myself to try to fit in better and uh, you know join with my mates and do something really exciting and, and like you know just the entertainment the social activities that people normally enjoy but I was never really attracted to any of that I was searching for something much deeper and that whole society around me seemed pretty foolish really quite pathetic so when I encountered Buddhism finally at the age of about 15, 16. It was a real discovery and it struck me very, very strongly as, you know, this is actually somebody that, um, a teaching that confirms these sort of in intuitions and insights that I had independently. That, um, it's, not, it's not me who is wrong in the society around me that's really right and I should just make myself a bit more normal. But you know, what the Buddha saw was that you know, everybody really, the society, uh, the whole population basically is pretty deeply stuck in, in ignorance and delusion and uh, one has to trust these insights that one has to find a way out of it.